There's a starting pitcher for the Giants today, the left-handed rookie. Kyle Harrison, 6'2", 200-pounder. He's 22 years of age. Got 41 days in the big leagues. So you sure don't feel it when he gets on that mound. He feels like he's been in this league for a lot longer than that. Now he needs to throw a strike. And this is a strike, and it's popped up. More of a fly ball. And it's starting to carry. And then in front of the wall, Michael Conform makes the catch. And that's how this game gets started. Corbin Carroll batting 235. Got him. And that's a good break of ball. Two outs, nobody aboard. Here is Lourdes Gurriel Jr. That's a fair ball. It's by Wilmer Flores and up the left field line. It checks up off the stands out there. And Lourdes is standing up at second, a two out double. And look who's coming to the plate, Christian Walker. A big two out RBI last night. Walker punches it the other way, and it's by Wade. Here comes Lourdes. Christian Walker, who had a big two out RBI guy last night, picks up another one here today. And the Diamondbacks have another first inning run. How about that? Oh boy, Christian Walker's been going the other way a lot. You know, they show him inside and then try to get him out of way, and he's just been thwarting that idea. Shoots that one right down the first baseline under the glove of Lamont Wade Jr. Back to back two out hits. The early lead against Harrison, and here is Eugenio Suarez. Walker does not go. And there's a swing. He's going to miss to end the inning. The right-hander Zach Gallen, who was 3-0 to start the year, and Zach has given up just four runs total in four starts. <laughs> Jung Hoo Lee, the leadoff man. Lee hits a hot drive to right. It is out of here. Home run number two. Well, that's his first one here at this ballpark. Now you give the guy a day off, and he comes out, flexes his muscles in the first at bat. By the way, we get a brand new ball game. The location right up there out over the plate at the belt, and he just spins on it. And Lamont Wade Jr. is the first baseman. Line drive, base hit. So Wade with a solid single to left. Now it's Solaire. In the dirt. It's away from Barnhart. Wade will move down to second. Now runner at second. Nobody out. One and one to count. In the hole. And a base hit. With Suarez guarding the line, that ball got right in between Alexander and Suarez. They've had some success early on here against Gallon. Here's the left fielder and the left-handed hitter, Michael Conforto. They're on the corners. The run is in. Still no outs. And Conforto helps out. First pitch pop up, fight in the sun. Suarez calls off Barnhart, and Gino's got it. And that'll bring up Wilmer Flores. A little pop up into center field going to be trouble and sliding and catching and then it's out of the glove coming in to score will be Wade and they're going to rule to the catch and it turns out to be a sacrifice fly chance will take it and Wilma Flores just picked up Michael Conforto well, that's a acrobatic sacrifice fly and an RBI for Wilmer Flores the one time down the back line drive that'll be a base hit and Soler will drop anchor at second. The Giants have their fourth hit of the inning. They've already matched the number of hits they had in the game last night. Here's Tyro Estrada, seventh batter of the inning for the Giants. Yes, he does, and gets the swing and miss. Barnhart will clean it up. Gallen gets the strikeout. So a bit of a bumpy first inning for Gallen. Lamont Wade Jr. for the Giants here in the last of the third. Shoots this one up the middle, and a big hit. He's hot. So Wade is two for two. He's aboard in front of Jorge Soler. Swing and a miss. High heat and Soler swung right through it. Third strikeout for Gallon. It'll be up to Wilmer Flores. Good pitch, great take. So with the walk, here's Patrick Bailey. Off the end of the bat. And it's going to fall, and it gets by Carbon Carroll. Stopping at third will be Flores. Into second goes Bailey. He'll come up with an RBI. Uh, it just was not an easy read for Corbin. I mean, he actually froze, had a lead back, and then he tried to make up for it. By then, it was too late. And here, you, you kind of get into where you choke yourself off, and the bounce gets under your glove. Part of the order coming up, Suarez, Gritchick, and Alexander. Those guys each 0 for 1. And Blaze, the DH last night, walked double twice, hit the grand slam. Ouch. Ow, that hurts. Blaze is the shortstop, flied out his first time. Well, Blaze trying to split the gap here. That's left center, and that gets down and gets to the wall. Gino with that bum knee. 
Coming around third, TP waving him home. He will score, and he's blazing. It's an RBI double, and a 3-2 ball game. Boy, he, you talk about Jody mentioned him in the go-bop, using the whole field. Yeah. I line mean, to line. He hit a ball off the top of the left field fence. He hit one in the left center gap, and then he hit the home run right down the right field line. Boy, and of course, when you got a bad wheel, the guy <laughs> after you hits an extra base hit. But look at Gino go. Outstanding. You know that left knee is barking the entire time. Two outs for the second baseman, Newman. There's a base hit for Kevin Newman. Blaze Alexander coming around. Another two out RBI, and Newman has tied the game 3 3. Sometimes it takes you an at bat or two against a pitcher you've never seen before to find that release point. Where's the ball coming from? More clutch two out RBIs, and if this team can start getting hits with two outs, driving runs in, they're going to be a really dangerous offense. Here's Wilmer Flores. Shot up the middle and a base hit. Well, Wilmer, a perfect day today. Here's the switch hitting catcher Bailey, a perfect two for two. On his bobblehead day. High drive! Way back! It is out of here! And the Giants take the lead. The kid is three for three with three legs of the cycle. The gamer babe did, and let's see how he did it. He got a count leverage shot. Stayed with nothing but fastballs a hole at bat and hit her. He leaves one up, middle in above the knee, and Bailey puts it in the water. Ooh, it almost got him. A splash hit. And when it happens, it's magic. It's baseball's version of Mulatto. Well, we got a new pitcher. Chapman the pinch single. And now it's Jorge Soler. Runner goes. It's kind of a delayed steal. They were hoping that uh, the D-backs would throw through, and Chapman's going to end up with a stolen base. We're going to miss. The inning is over. So the Giants get a couple of hits but don't score. Well, it's been quite a day for Patrick Bailey on his bobblehead day today. He's a triple shy of the cycle. Hit towards the gap in left center field. And it's up against the wall, and it denies our catcher of the cycle. He wasn't going to stop. He's four for four. By the way, the Giants are about to announce, and this is coming to everybody early that tomorrow will be Patrick Bailey bobblehead day two. <laughs> That's right. He gets four hits every time they put out a bobblehead for him. Here's Estrada. Two and one on Estrada. Fair at third. Backhanded by Suarez. Tremendous stop and throw by Gino. And they get the out. Jung Hu Lee, the leadoff man, steps in. How about a fastball away? Down the left field line. Here comes Yastrzemski. Lee! With a double. He is going to own this town. You talk about a guy that comes into a season, and then we're not even three quarters of the way through April, and everybody's talking about him. And it's because of it, bats like this one, just a battle, and he winds up taking a two seamer off the plate away, and he just spanks it into left field. An easy score for Yastrzemski, and now there's that three run lead. Lee at third, Chapman at first. So here is Conforto. And a base hit and a one for five. And an RBI. And it's 7 3. Yep, that's safe dinner. So Conforto does it again to Duvall. Well, it's just like that. A three run lead turns into a four run lead, and Sean Jelly in the Giants' bullpen starts to get up and throw. He wants in the ninth. So here's Jock Peterson. Got him. Duvall strikes out the side. Bailey has a fantastic game. And the Giants win this one on a Saturday afternoon.